chat. Pause. You a big bitch. Someone actually commented on a video of mine and said that Wolfie was getting dreadlocks. Hey, what's good? It's your boy Wolfie. Welcome back to the channel. Show me that you missed me by going down and I cannot wait for it. It does look like he could be starting dreadlocks. So someone wanted me to do an actual review on him, but it doesn't honestly look like he's going to be getting them anytime soon. Been a minute. I actually haven't dropped a video in time, but I came back with a banger today. What is up, YouTube? What is up, Flow Gang? Back at it again with another boom -ba clap video. <laughs> Sorry, I had something in my throat. Um, shout out to Manta Main, but back again with another dreadlock video. We're gonna be doing something I don't usually do, but I wanna do more of. I think I've done a dread review on Sway Lee in the past. I've done a dread review on Ski Mask, and I've done a dread, well, I've done a haircut review on Ski Mask, and I've done a dread review on X, and I've done, I don't know. But today we're gonna be doing uh, Wolfie. Wolfie raps, Wolfie reacts. I don't know his full name. I never really got into watching him. But I have seen him in other people that I do watch his videos and stuff like that. And I just saw this thing pop up on, on Snapchat, like you know the new Snapchat where celebrities got the whole Discover recommended page. He popped up on that, so I clicked it and I saw that he is starting locks. I don't know if it's intentional or if he just doesn't feel like cutting his hair, but they, they're doing a little something. They, he's got some hang time now. And they, there's like pretty significant separation. You could tell, I'll, I'll get into that in a second. We're gonna take it back to the original, original days of his hair, I guess. All right, so he was first born, well, I don't know how old he is in this. He looks like he's around one to two or one transitioning to two. And his hair is pretty curly. It's pretty loose curls. That, that goes for most babies when they're first born. But yeah, he has pretty loose curls, pretty thin hair, I guess. It's curly, that, that's basically what I'm getting at. It's not straight, it's not super coarse, it is pretty curly. So we skip to, this is probably early middle school, I'm gonna say fifth, sixth grade? I'm not, I don't know, I'm just taking a guess. Not stalking, I'm not lurking his page. He literally has around 100 photos and these pictures were here on his Instagram, just baby pictures, kid pictures, throwbacks. So, you know, we just look through those. So here you can see his hair gets more thick. Um, it's slightly more coarse, which means that the curls are tighter, meaning that it would be a lot harder to get a comb through it or a pick through it or something like that. Basically, it's more thick, it's more curly, it's nappier, I guess. I know a lot of um, a lot of you natural black women won't like that word, but it's a pretty descriptive word, so nappy, that's what we'll say. Nappy just means you can't really get the comb through it. So yeah, that was him. And then we're gonna skip to, this looks like he's probably in his early 20s. I don't know, I don't know his age right now. Let me look that up. Wolfie Raps. Wolfie Raps, aka King Wolfie, was born as Charles Rayner on June 15th, 1993 in London, Ontario. There's an Ontario in London? I thought that was Canada. Am I tripping? He now lives in Ottawa, Canada. Okay, that's confusing. That's confusing. It says he was born in Ontario, London, but he lives in Ottawa, Canada, and I thought Ontario was Canada. 1993. What is he, 25, 26? Reply to this comment. Guys, I got a second channel, it's called Workflow. You guys should check that out. The little thing will be right up there. You know what I'm saying? Someone just commented, I see the high tops do not roll the ankles. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just like high tops, but that is true. Gotta get that ankle support. In football, I always ran in low tops though. I didn't like high tops. I felt like it restricted my movement. Felt like only linemen should be one. Linemen or quarterbacks. I felt like those are the only people who should be wearing low top or high tops. All right, so here's this picture. He's 25 right now. I'm gonna assume this picture is probably about 22, I don't know. I'm gonna say 22. His hair is short, he has it cut short this time. It looks way more coarse than it did in that last picture, meaning more nappy, like I said, meaning harder to get the comb through it. You can tell his hair is curly, but on the scale of, of, of hair, hair types, on the scale of hair types, I would probably give him 3C to a 4A. You guys can look that up on the the chart or whatever you want to call it. I could actually, I'm actually gonna put one of those right here. 3C to 4A, that's what I'm gonna give him. Here's another cut, it's kind of lower. I think these are around the same time period, but he just, he got it lower. Right now, before we get into the actual dread part, he has a high top, like he keeps the sides shaped, and I don't know what it is about that. Maybe that's just the style he likes, but he just always has a high top. Even though it's not that high, it's literally just, he keeps all of his hair on the top and the sides. That's what I got right now, with the sides faded. All right, here's a more recent picture. Picture. This is him in the clout house, I assume. The Louis Vuitton and the Gucci Cheetahs. That's honestly a sick pick. Like, that's dope. 
And you can see he recently dyed his hair in this picture. It's just the tips, like frosted tips basically. It looks like popcorn. It looks like if you took popcorn or popcorn seeds and just splatted them on like a little black sheet of paper or something like that. That's how you can tell his hair is pretty curly. Has those little knots and curls going on. All right, in this picture, this is him chilling. I'm assuming with his girlfriend or ex-girlfriend, Sylvia. Something happened with them. But if we zoom in on this. Can you see my whole head yet? I don't know, this wide angle lens is kind of tripping me out. You can see, obviously, there is some separation going on. He may have dyed it a little bit more, or maybe just the fact that it's protruding a little bit more. But you can tell there's some finger twist action going on. Legitimate, he's doing something. Defines it that much. I feel like he has to be using his finger. This has to be intentional, because they look too defined in this picture, even though they're really small. All right, here's a picture. This was at the Ace Family's Congrats on another little angel and shout out to the Ace family. I still don't know what it is. I just know it has something to do with the baby. Maybe she's pregnant. Maybe they had a baby. Maybe they found the gender. I don't know. It might be a gender party because they're wearing blue shirts. That has to be it. That has to be it. They're wearing blue shirts. All right, so let's zoom in on Wolfie. You can clearly see right here in the top left. It's basically like a little dread hanging down and it's surrounded by brown. The brown is the new growth, and you can see it's obviously separating. It's not just a frosted tip at this point, dreads forming and stuff like that. So we got this other picture of him, more recent. It's him holding a huge L, a fat L. I don't know why he's saying he's holding the fat L's or Wolfie always takes L's. He said you can't spell Wolfie without L. But if you zoom in, way more separation, clearly more finger twisting, more. Basically, he's forcing it at this point. Like he actually wants the locks. All right, so this is the reason I'm here. This is the reason I'm making this video. It's because I saw this on instant on snapchat and yeah so let's just watch this all right so i can't really see any um, dye there might be a little bit of dye on the tips but it looks like he may have cut that out um i tried to check his channel in his main channel it says three months since he's actually uploaded anything yeah three months long time so that's obviously what this is this is three months worth of growth what's up What's up, y'all? Uh, dread video. You know who Wolfie is, right? Yeah, I know who Wolfie is. Yeah, this nigga got dreads now. What? That's what you was talking about? Yeah. Ew. <laughs> Looks like a Canadian. He is a Canadian. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. All right. All right, that was my bro, uh, Godly Zay, a.k.a. A Xavier TV. If you, all, if you want to check him out, click that thing right there. You know what I'm saying? We make skits, we make videos, he makes dance videos, go check him out. All right, so that's all I gotta say is this, this right here, it's obvious, it's obvious he's getting dreads. And I can tell he's using the finger twist action. There's nothing else he could be using except finger twists. And it looks like, based on what I've seen on Instagram and YouTube, he's not necessarily getting a legit twist, like, like a professional legit twist, um, not even really professional. I do my own twists and I wouldn't consider them professional, but they're not just like random twists. Like where you sit down, actually use product or no product, and you sit down and twist all of them and then put something on them to make sure they don't come loose. To me, it just looks like he's just finger twisting whenever he gets bored or something like that. Whenever he's just chilling, he, he'll just play with his hair. That's what it seems like to me. So. That's, how he, that's probably how he started though. It seems like he just started off a finger twist. That's the end of it for me. Um, the reason I don't do these so much is because um, I'm experienced in my own way. Like people ask me so many questions in my comments and I try to answer them the best I can or they'll DM me questions I try to answer to the best of my knowledge. And then every now and then someone will come behind me and reply and say, oh, this is the right way. I'm just going off of what I know. So the reason I don't usually do these is because I can't, I can't really tell you guys the straight up facts. Like I can't tell you, oh, this is exactly how he started his hair. Um, it seems like he crocheted. It seems like he um, did this or she did this, that, and the third to their hair throughout their journey to get them where they are. I can't tell you how they started. I'm just going based off what I see. And based on the progression, it seems like he finger twisted it doesn't look like he did any sponge action because if he did sponge action it would be a little bit more poofy he would have thicker dreads in the beginning stages it would be more of a poofy afro-ish look instead of just straight up curls like coils it looked like coils so that's all i gotta say the dude looks i don't know i feel like i feel like i like the little frizzy high top more but 
At least he's joining the lot game. At least he's joining the dread game, getting dreaded up and looking fresh with it. You know, got the ball fade on the side. Whoa, like straight up ball on the side. But yeah, that'll do it for me. Continue to flow. Make your locks good. Wait, oh, shoot. Before I go, I just want to say, um, my next video. You good? It's called Zays and Blades. It's good, right? Mm, I bit my cheek. Mm. All right. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, I've seen other YouTubers do it, but I just haven't done it myself. Someone commented recently, you should react to your subscribers' dreads. So if you're still watching this, whoever commented that, DMs, J-H-A-I dot F-L-O-W. That's my Instagram, Jai dot flow. It should be linked in the description. Go there, so, uh, follow me. I was about to say subscribe. Follow me, DM me a picture or video of your locks. And my next video probably gonna drop, today is Friday, so probably gonna drop Monday. I'll just use the entire weekend to look at you guys' locks. Actually, no. Send me everything, and I'm not gonna open it till Monday, and I'll open it on camera. Yeah, I'll open the videos on camera on Monday, or Sunday night, actually, and I'll put up the video Monday. Do that, continue to flow, may your locks grow. Peace. Inside me, Z is no reactor. <laughs> big Shaq, pause. You a big bitch, nose like garden hose. You got a fire hose at your big lips. Big. Mans didn't help out his boy. Mans like Erica Costo, hiss, hiss. I'm here to teach you a lesson. Man, no, no disrespect, Wolfie, get dismissed. Random.